ever been shopping on Amazon and you find yourself a faucet that looks like it's a great deal, but you want to know a little bit more? Will it hold up? Is it made from quality materials? What's the story behind the company? Well, I have one such faucet right here, manufactured by Prism, and we're gonna answer some of those questions right now. Welcome back, Remodelites, to another episode of Remodel Media. I am Dave, and for the last 16 years, I've helped people put together kitchens, baths, outdoor kitchens, and various other home renovation projects. My mission in life is to eliminate regret, and I do that by bringing you the latest tips, tricks, and products for your home remodel. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an episode. So in the interest of full disclosure, this is not a sponsored post. It is not a paid advertisement. This is not a commercial. Uh, however, I did receive an email from Chris Yakey, the CEO of Prism Faucets, and he asked me to review his product, and they did ship me this faucet for free to get my opinion, and that's exactly what you're going to get. You're going to get my honest opinion on this faucet. The pros, the cons, the whole deal. So the first thing I want to say is thank you to Chris Yakey, the CEO of Prism, who originally approached me, and he's been very patient waiting on this very video. As most of you know, I made a move across the country from California to Virginia, and my life has been kind of crazy. Uh, I wanted to share with you some words from Chris Yakey that he sent to me uh, in an email. I had sent him an email saying that, hey, I believe in transparency. I want to tell the folks at home where this faucet comes from and the story behind the company. And so I'm going to read to you a little bit here. It says, uh, hello, David. I too share the same belief about transparency, especially in terms of business to consumer relationships and customer service. I'd be happy to share a little bit about my company and the process behind our plumbing products. Good start. My partner and I have been in the plumbing industry for several years. Last year, we decided to come together and build our shared passion for plumbing into a brand that would operate on Amazon. So it's an Amazon only product from what I understand here. Uh, doesn't mean it'll always be that way, but for now, that's what it is. Our goal has always been to provide our customers with aesthetically pleasing, high quality plumbing fixtures that are cost effective. An excellent goal. My partner's industrial skills paired with my own background in marketing has allowed us to leverage Prism as a brand on the Amazon platform. It has been operating for approximately two months now and we have been pleased with its success thus far. That's probably the first thing that it's not a deal breaker because every company started somewhere. Even Kohler had very humble beginnings when a, a Bulgarian immigrant named John Michael Kohler poured enameling powder in a cast iron pig trough and called it a bathtub. Every company starts somewhere. So being young is not necessarily a deal breaker, at least not for me. Our faucet is sourced from places across the world. For the aerator, we use the famous Swiss brand Neopearl. I would expect nothing less. Considering the soft water outlet and 30% water saving rate. For the cartridge, we use CUPC certified One High brand, which is a prominent brand in China. A lot of companies use this cartridge. That is not surprising either. Although our manufacturer is in China, we source from places around the world. We believe this brings a distinguished uniqueness to our brand, while also facilitating our ability to deliver high quality yet cost-effective plumbing fixtures to our customers. I appreciate your interest and inquiries. Feel free to let me know if you have any more questions. Thank you, Chris. And without any further ado, let's get into this. So first off, you've got the packaging. You've got the faucet, you've got the logo, you've got the label. Very simple packaging, but it does get the point across. I like that logo design, the gemstone inside of the, uh, inside of the water droplet. So first impressions, this faucet is packaged incredibly well. It's got the nice high-end foam inserts. You've got your specifications here. So one of the first things that I look at when I'm looking at a faucet like this is I look where the joints are. I look at the seams. I look for obvious weld marks, things like that where the finish might not be perfect. And I have to say this matte black finish 
really good. So here's an important point. They do include an Allen wrench for easy service of the cartridge. So let's take this thing apart, shall we? Another side note here, they have a set of standard European supply lines. Uh, looks like a 3 8 connection. So that's going to be important details here. So the 3 8 connection, in case these supply lines don't reach your angle stop, what you're going to have to do is get yourself a 3 8 compression union and faucet supply lines that fit your angle stop that have 3 8 on one side. If I'm being fair and I'm giving both pros and cons, the one thing missing from this package is a parts explosion, something that shows how this thing is serviced later on down the line. So the faucet just comes off with the Allen wrench, or the faucet handle I should say, comes off with the Allen wrench rather easily. You've got this collar underneath. I suspect that this collar twists off. That's what I would expect. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. So this, this collar works sort of as a retaining nut. Grab a wrench, excuse me. The reason I'm doing this is to show you how easy or difficult this is to service. So far, on a scale of 1 to 10, difficulty level 1 uh, as compared to other faucets. It is standard configuration. Most faucets go together pretty similarly which if you're a plumber, a service plumber, or something like that, you probably already know. But most homeowners only take their faucet apart once in a lifetime. So there's this white spacer underneath that is sitting on top. I'm assuming that gives the handle room to turn. The only reason I'm not... Oh, there it is. There it is. It was just a little stuck in there. Okay. All right. Woo. So you can see this, this faucet cartridge looks like a lot of other faucet cartridges. It's all universal plumbing code certified. Whenever you see this logo right here, UPC, that's universal plumbing code. It's kind of like when you see a, a UL listing on electronics, underwriters laboratory. It, it basically just means that it meets all specifications here. So I'm not going to keep putting this in and taking this out because there is a rubber O-ring right here that creates a watertight seal. And the more times I put this in and take this out, it's going to create, it's going to wear down that O-ring. And we don't want the faucet to leak. But as far as simplicity and design and ease of service, you guys get an A. Good job. There we go. Got that nice little click actuation. Now we put in our spacer, put in this little retaining nut, now the one thing I will say you don't necessarily want to manhandle something that is such a nice finish like this because you can scratch the finish. However, I suspect by the time anyone has to worry about servicing this, depending on where you live and the hardness of the water, if we're thinking like Southern California because they have pretty hard water, then we're thinking 10 years before anybody has to even think about doing anything like this. But I promised a complete report head to toe. There we go, nice and pretty. Righty tidy.
and we're back in business. I don't recommend taking apart your faucet when it's brand new, uh, but it's good to know that it's easily serviceable. Only thing I would ask the manufacturer to start to include is a parts breakdown because for me, this was easy because I've done it before with other brands. This doesn't go together any differently than any other brand. You know, good job, solid design, solid engineering. We're gonna keep this for safekeeping. But as they say, feedback is a gift. Chris, you wanted me to review the faucet. This is my review. Overall, very, very good. Now I know there's probably gonna be some people, but Dave, isn't this just a made in China faucet? Well, yeah, probably. A lot of faucets are, to be honest. There's a good chance that a couple of the faucets in your house are probably made in China or Taiwan. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of overseas imports coming from that direction. As I've stated in previous videos, made in China doesn't necessarily bother me any because I understand that we are in a global economy and the fact is truly American made faucets are super expensive when compared to something like this. And that being said, even huge names in the faucet industry like Kohler have factories in China. Being a Chinese import does not bother me. Another piece of feedback I would give you guys, uh, Chris, is to make sure that you include a phone number or email or something that people can email if they do have questions, comments, or concerns about the product. Again, for a two month old company or for a company that's been selling for two months, that's not a bad thing. You make these little changes and you continuously get better. I'll be honest, if you guys take this feedback and you run with it and you uh, continue to get even better than you already are and you are, are already pretty good, you're gonna go places for sure, 100%. The product itself is excellent, the company has promise, and well, I expect to see big things from these guys in the future. Thanks for watching, I hope you got some good information out of that episode. Go ahead and click here for more videos. Go ahead and click here to subscribe. And make sure you check out the description below for relevant links to some of the products that we discussed today. And leave your comments and questions down below because I love answering them. As always, I'll see you in the next one.